Hey guys, it's Yana here. Isn't it crooked this shit? Oh. Sorry, sir. Sir, sorry. Because I'm so excited to see Hi this Hi guys, video. it's Fabio here. This is my boyfriend, Yanni, and he's gonna tell you all about this video because I have no clue. <laughs> what are we doing today? <laughs> Fabio's job in this YouTube channel is just to sit here and look pretty. That's all? And most Period. times I don't even look pretty. I just look like shit. But you're always beautiful to me, Bonnie. Because you don't wear glasses, that's why. If you just did, bitch. <laughs> this is my relationship with Fabio. I can never be romantic with him because... He always just talks shit. Anyway, today's video, as many of you have requested, we are finally... No, it's just to rest my shoulder on this. See, I look very cool like this. You guys might think that Fabio is Italian, and he's supposed to be romantic, but he's actually the least romantic person you'll ever meet. I guess stereotypes. That's why we don't do them. Today's video, we're going to be reacting to Anne Curtis and Erwan Yusef. I don't know how to pronounce his Yusef. name. He got married in... Australia, I believe. <gasps> wow, I love Australia. I, I only know one Australian accent in one word, water. American is water, and Australia is water. No. No. Oh, oh, pardon me. They said no in Australia, nor. but it's, a, it's, a, it's pronounced nor. as nor. Water. Anyway, without further ado, this... Oh, by the way, when I looked it up on YouTube, there are two videos. Okay. One was uploaded two years ago, and okay. one was uploaded one year ago. Oh, they got married twice? I don't know. Did they get married twice? I Wait, know. I think I read somewhere in the comments that they got married twice. But today's video, we're going to be reacting to the one Most uploaded recent. one year ago. Because that one oh, has... Really? 10 million views. <gasps> so I want to see... 10 million? See. I would like 10 million of you to watch this video reaction, Well, guys, comment below, so you guys. Be comment below if you want us to see the video uploaded two years ago as well. Without further ado, because this video is so long, I'm so excited. Is it long? It's 19 minutes. Fuck. Without further ado, let's <laughs> get right into the video. I think you shouldn't sing. That's why the right. yeah, analytics are really going down for right. us because of that. Mm -hmm. Right. I shouldn't sing <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's in Australia. They probably filmed something. <gasps> okay. It is <gasps> so green. Wow. Oh my gosh, vintage. I love already. Oh my god, I'm getting married. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. First of all, oh. her makeup is very subtle. Very, very natural. She looks like she's only wearing medium coverage foundation. And even her hair, she's just like... It's just wavy. That's it. I woke up wavy. I woke up like this. And then her eyeshadows are not like heavy. It's just really natural beauty. Well. In weddings, usually you go for a very soft makeup. Champagne color, eyeshadow, gold, those are that type of makeup that usually yeah. people wear at the weddings. Let's see. <gasps> love First of all, the, the location scenery. I love. Coffee. Oh, perfect. I feel like they're coffee lovers. It looks cold. I thought it was going to be at the summer. Oh, but you know what? It Is that him? Yeah, that's him. He's a YouTuber. He's a chef. He loves to cook. I love his suit. He looks so young. How old are they? He does. It looks mixed. I don't know. You know what? I feel like wedding in places like this, it's perfect to get married during fall because in weddings, you wear suit, people can wear dresses and they don't get so hot and warm and the makeup don't run down in the faces. Oh. Is Erwan Yusef half Filipino, half Australian maybe? Wow, look at the guests. It looks like a lot of guests. I haven't seen any celebrities yet. Me neither. They probably didn't invite any celebrities. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this scenery. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry already. I always cry. You guys, I'm a wedding photographer. Every time I photograph a wedding, I cry. This is the perfect ideal wedding. Yes, I love this style. 
just walking down there. <gasps> wow! I love this pop of red in her bouquet. Did you see the yes, flowers? Yes, that's him. Oh, oh my god, I'm sure this is so beautiful. Oh, she's half two, I forgot. Oh, is she gonna walk alone? She's, of course she's gonna walk alone, she has to walk alone. Everyone's having a lot of fun. They're all excited. I love this type of video. You know what? Let me pause. I love this type of video editing. You guys, I've photographed many weddings before, so I kind of know what to look for in a videography. I like this type of video editing because it's very... It's like a vlog. It's not like very cinematic. It's not... They're not making a movie. Maybe later we'll see that. Yeah. But now they just show what really happened during That's the what day. I like. That's what we do also in our vlogs. Like you want to show the whole... Thing, yeah. and not just being very cinematic even though I love cinematic too yeah but but this is like more this. natural yeah. like it makes you really feel what people are feeling exactly so that's I love it see that it's giving you a little bit more time to soak, soak in the moment look at the faces violence Vice Ganda. Vice Ganda. oh for real of course she has to be invited in. no she has to be invited because they're friends those gowns who's that guy in the middle there? lucky him handsome i love the color of these suits maroon yes it's very rare you don't see that so this is probably the bridesmaids in the blue yeah. my god these are handsome groomsmen hello what the frick i love this color combination this maroon and blue it's something unique it's so perfect for the season so perfect for this this place they're in Yes. Oh, lovely. We thought this out. Even the ties. Do you see the color? Yes. Oh. Gorgeous colors. You're right. Oh, um, Montano. What's his name? <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god. god. I always Oh, she's so wow. perfect. She's perfection. Oh my god, these cute little boys with the beret. Like small. Uh, I love the color of purple. Everybody's wearing purple. I feel like the color theme is purple or something. It's a, it's blue. Oh, is it blue? Yeah, Maybe it's blue, dark blue. A little bit color blind. <laughs> but yeah. it pops in the green it in does the background. Pop a lot. There she is. There she is. I coming. Love, I love her With veil. I love her veil just like hanging on her head. Oh, she got emotional. She has to walk alone. The dad cannot walk with her because she's too perfect. <gasps> they open the door. Oh my god! Oh. <gasps> she's taking her time. I love this slow. Wow! Oh, I love the veil just like that. It's not attached to anything in her head. You know? Yeah. Just in the front. It's very traditional. Ah, okay, so she had the moment to walk by herself. And of course, the dad has to walk. Oh, Vicky oh, Bello. Bello. Yeah. She's always I'm still waiting for the sponsorship. <laughs> Look how raw this video. It's like, it's straight from the camera. No editing, really. Yeah. Of course, you have to cry like this when you have makeup, right? Yeah. Like this. Very emotional up here. <laughs> but good oh. afternoon to everybody. It's so great to have you at this very special occasion. Special occasion. As family and friends, as we Friend. come to just witness the joining of a very special couple together. She and we just want to commit this time to the Lord in prayer. So let us pray together. Oh, that's Lord, so we pray your blessing upon our time together here this afternoon as we witness with. Erwin and Anne, the, Irwin. the sharing of their vows and their commitment to each other. May your Holy Spirit be so evident amongst us here this afternoon. I love we pray your word. blessing upon this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Erwin and Anne, as you make your commitment to each other in front of your Look at Erwin. family He's so and friends. Emotional. And I just want yeah. to take a few moments to share from God's word uh, here today. You know, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts I have, have for you, you, says the Lord. Thoughts to bless you and that you have a purpose special a uh, place in God's heart. But I want to read two scriptures. Uh, here this afternoon, John 10 verse 9, Jesus says the following words, he says, I am the door, if anyone enters by me, he will be saved, wow. and will go in and out and find pasture. The second verse is Revelation 4 and verse 1, it says, after dress. these things, I looked and behold, the lady that caressed standing her open in heaven, upper body, the body. and the it's first just, voice which I heard was like a trumpet speaking to me, saying, come up here, and I will show you things which you must take after this. And you know, as I was reflecting on those and I really two love the veil. I can't get over the veil. Just the one word like that. that kept ringing home to me was the word door. And I really believe you guys as a couple are going to go through many doors of opportunity. Aww. And I believe as you journey together, she just you're went through a door to get there. In front of you <laughs> That's literally that God's going to use you. Not only as a married couple, but as individuals. There were doors of opportunity. But I believe in even in the way you are profiled and you beautiful. have influence Thank in the you. world today, I believe you're going to be showing that door to so many people. First of all, the door to salvation and knowing Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. This but the people is in so the world cool today it, who are it's very raw well, there at the wedding. I think this is the full of version of their wedding, so it's the not the one they added. Because be they even included all the sermon. Be sharing words of encouragement that it's can the perfect location. It's the perfect life. weather. I believe even in your example of your marriage, it's going to be a door that will be that will open to so many other people who are going to look at your marriage, your union, and say, this is going to give me hope and purpose for my life. Aww, but amazing. I don't want to talk and prophesy about your future. I want to speak about your marriage. How many of you are married here today? No. Nope. <laughs> How many of you are hoping to be married one day? All right, so I think what I'm going to share will apply to every <laughs> single person here, but specifically to both of you. I've taken the word doors and I've used an acrostic and I'm taking full each service. one of the letters yeah. and I just want to share briefly some gold nuggets that I want to encourage you as you start this exciting journey of marriage. Door, the D in door stands for decide today what kind of marriage you want. Mm. And when you decide what kind of marriage you want you need to Decide on your words and actions to match up what you That's decide. true. That's oh. true. If you want a great, awesome, happy marriage, you have to sow that into your union. Wow. The Bible says you will sow what you sow, you're going to reap. Yes. If you yeah. sow bitterness, Amen. guess what you're going to get? Shit. But if you sow love, kindness, joy, into your union then you're gonna get I chicken believe that's what you're gonna read. there's a lot of and handsome so guys today, in the congregation maybe on the boat trip <laughs> over decide today what kind of marriage you want and then make sure your words and action tie Ach up to what you decide yeah because you cannot just say the i love you and then do nothing oxygen. to prove it exactly everybody like, here today we need oxygen to things. breathe right if there's no oxygen right. you will I'm not be here, here. Morning. And in your union as a married couple, decide on what's the oxygen that's going to keep my marriage alive. Ah. Because if you don't have oxygen keeping it what's alive, what's our oxygen, Bunny? Your uh, marriage is going to be alive. Stop! Why would you say that? Your marriage alive. What will be the oxygen? I thought of three things, and in all my marriage counseling over many, many years, 
This is what I want to do. She's a marriage counselor. Your marriage alive. Sí. Number one, encouragement. Encouragement. Look for every opportunity to encourage Each and other. build one another up. <gasps> yeah. Every uh, day. I may not be very encouraging for you. That's what we do. Yeah, that, yeah. We have that one. One out another. of three, we have. Secondly, communication. Communication. That spoke about it yesterday. We communication. Do. So it's so critical. So. I think when God created us with two ears and one mouth, I think He wants to bring a message across. And sometimes we need to listen more than speak. Yeah. And communication is not watching TV. Fabio is not a very good listener. You know, Lies. Not You're not a very good listener. Lies. No, you sh- agree with it. Each other and talking and asking questions. You don't do that to me. Communication. Thirdly, what's the oxygen that keeps a marriage alive? Make sure you keep the fire of re- being romantic burning in your life. Oh, Never ever let the fire or the flame we have one of out of three. encouragement go out in because you. you're not a good listener. The you other O in door no fire. stands for overcoming. Overcome. You are a team. Today in the sight of you God you become one. Team. You're you a team. One. Together each achieves look at, much look at more. Anne, she's crying. And when you face challenges in life, and you will face challenges in life. Yeah. I've been married 35 years. We've faced lots of challenges. Yes, she is so lit. She's praising the power in agreement. Yeah. And as I said to you yesterday, if I had a sports jersey here, I would put it on both of you. Remember, you were you on the same team. You yeah. both want to win in life. When you look at each other, you're not the opposition. You're on the same team. Yeah. And you can overcome and you can stand and withstand whatever comes your way in your future if you work together. Together. As a team. I know some exactly. of you are trying one to work washes, out the arm one dries. Already. So you know, Anybody right. want to help me, me with that one? Nobody? To what? Respect. <laughs> Respect. Respect. And I looked up. Uh, uh, I love Google. Google explains things sometimes so well. Sometimes. Respect is a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something. We have respect. Uh, elicited for by the abilities. I think we have it all. We have. Well, I'm more of a romantic you than you, obviously. Yeah. So I have. I keep the romance alive. Fabio is not a good listener. A He's a good talker. But lastly, <laughs> for doors, is seek first the kingdom of God. You know, one of my favorite passages of scripture that I share at every single wedding, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things things shall be added added unto you. I want to encourage you, put God first in your life. Make sure that he is the, the foundation, the bedrock of your union. And I really believe no matter what comes your way, I believe you will have a, a beautiful, successful, and Wedding. amazing marriage. That I love the bouquet of flowers. You're right. There's a wow, pop of color like in them. all the whiteness. Build it God's way. I really love the veil. I can't get over with them to the favor and the blessing of God. Father, I just pray for that word here this afternoon for Irwin and Anne. Lord, I know that there are going to be so many doors. Doors is going to meet so, so many different things to them personally, but I believe that will be doors that will touch and impact other people's lives by the way they live their lives and the way they model things to this, to people around them, their family, their friends, and people that they have influence over. Pray your blessing upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, Oh, Lord. I love the music choice, the, the editing style, everything. The music is so beautiful. I just wanna be your they tie them together. Oh, oh my gosh. So cool. <laughs> Five burns down in the ember slow. Five stand out, let's go vibes. But I never get cold when it's you I hold. Now they have to remove it. Yeah. It's a very traditional Filipino wedding. I'm so white, I'm sorry. They're taking the veil off? What's happening? Do you, Erwin, yourself, take Anne Curtis yes. Smith to be your wife? Yes, take her. Shut Will up, Fabio. Will you love Fabio. her, comfort her, honor and keep her? 
in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to her as long as you both shall live I do if you do say Tony I do Gonzaga. I do Tony Gonzaga is the best I do the back hear that um, Erwin I think it's going to have to be a much louder I do I do okay. <laughs> I love the buttons on her back look. And I Curtis saw. Smith take Erwin Yusuf to be your husband. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, I be do. faithful to him oh, as long so as cute. you both shall live. Look. If you do, say I do. I do. Louder. <laughs> I don't think Anne can get away from that. Okay. I do. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I do. Oh, that's so funny with vibrato even. Oh, Vong Navarro is there too. Hi. Oh, the boss, the boss, the boss, the boss. Mon amour. Mon amour. <laughs> Who would have thought that you tricking me about eight years ago into knowing or believing that you knew all the constellations? <laughs> would lead to us here today. Oh my gosh. It's been quite a roller coaster. Wait, I'm so bright. Can I just. We've like... had our. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's much better. Okay, sorry guys. Ups and downs, or twisties and twirlies. But we never let go. You taught. And made me believe in magic again. Oh. You took what was broken and all of its craziness and made it whole again. Wow. Even when my insecurities come out and you know how bad it can get, <laughs> you never let go. But instead, you had faith in me. That's amazing. She encouraged me and pushed me towards bringing out the best in me. I oh, am oh, that's this the best Thank you for partner. not trying to change who I am, but choosing to love who I was, who I am, and who I've yet to become. That's the best part. As you know, Manamo. I always have to be strong for everyone around me. But when I can't, oh, he's, he's... it's in your arms that I find comfort in. Oh. As you know, I always have to be upbeat and bubbly. Yeah, she seems so. But when I get tired, oh. it's by your side. I find peace sitting in. In absolute silence with Oh, and that's okay. the sweetest words. But yeah. now I will communicate more. <laughs> he, she Thank finds comfort in him. That keeps me safe, no matter what storms come my way. Wow, so poetic this vow. It's beautiful. It, it's like a song. To me, it's a song. She could We've write had a song. an amazing seven years of being together. Seven years. Learning more about each other. Each day, each week, each it's month, you. always finding something new to love and sometimes hate about each other, but choosing to love it anyway. I love that we share all the many beautiful things that life and God has given us. From traveling and eating our way around the world together. Oh, it's like a bunny. Or just side by side, jumping around crazy in a crazy music bunnies. festival together. Oh, music festivals. And we do these things alone, just you and I. From now on, Monemo, a lot of things will be just you and I. From this day forward, there is no me without you, and you without me. Oh. That is so good. <laughs> I vow to love you under any circumstances. This is the cutest. Happy or sad, 
rainy, sunny, windy, or snowy, polite, and yes, even when I'm hangry. <laughs> I vow to turn off the light when I'm the last one to bed. I vow to try and control my emotions when you give me that tone. <laughs> I vow to always make you happy that you whistle around the house every day. <laughs> she, that, I think that annoys her then. And most importantly, I vow to love the fat kid inside when he decides to come out again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Because I guess he used to be um, bigger before. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mon amour, as Mon you amour. know, I've always been one who loves great love stories. Getting lost in books and K-drama series. <laughs> I've always believed in dreams coming true and going on great adventures. And as I embark on my greatest adventure ever, I couldn't be more excited that it's with you. <sighs> For you are my greatest adventure. That is this. You are a wondrous dream. And our love story is my favorite book. Oh. <laughs> oh. Babe. I'm just gonna copy and paste her vows. I'm gonna say it in our wedding. Honestly, because her vows applies to us. We travel, we eat together. I think these vows are the best I've ever heard. It's the best one. It's so hard. It's always been very difficult for me to express my emotions. Um, I don't really know where it comes from. It's just not in my nature. Same. And I know that this can be a very frustrating trait. Maybe it's a Taurus. So to stand here today in front of all these people is gonna be very interesting. That's why I've always enjoyed writing. It helps give a voice to my feelings. Funnily enough, since the day I've met you, I've written more each day. From, from flirty text messages to unreadable late night advances, to love letters, some sent, some never to see the light of day, to random scratchings hidden in your luggage before a long trip. I write to you even when you're not around, always asking myself what you would think. A constant soundboard echoing any decision like I make. Cousin Elisa and Without noticing it, you've maybe want to tell a story and compile it. Aww. In fear that one day I would have to read it back just to remember us. Knowing that whatever happened, I could keep you in my back pocket, a tucked away novel that I could look for for hope. Oh, they both use the novel thing. This one is about people who no one could have ever imagined being together. We couldn't have been more different when we first met, and oh God, probably like didn't strike problem. anyone as a likely match. We tested and strained our relationship, bringing it to great heights with deep falls right ahead, but eventually managed to be here today as a team. That's so sweet. Some people see marriage as the truest testament of love, the culmination of a relationship. I don't. It's a pretty poem, but it's riddled with subtext. Any married couple here today can probably attest to this being our first day in a very long journey. I now know that the last eight years was just a warm up for the next 70. Oh. In the last one alone, I've noticed that I've learned something new about you every day. It's like gazing up at the stars that I know so much about. <laughs> it feels familiar, but every night something changes, making it hard to look away. We are very different people um, than who we are once, who, are, who we are now. A familiar constellation shaped by compromise and understanding, and a consciousness of our personality as two individuals, always together but never stuck. You've asked me countless of times why I love you. You curl up towards me, looking up at me expectingly, the perfect answer but I could never truly explain it to you. Reducing all my emotions to a few cliff notes is impossible. I love you because you are true to who you are, sometimes a little stubbornly, because of how emotional you get about your family, how people's happiness is a priority in your everyday, Aww. how bothered you get by their opinions, yet still mm. believe that you are a great singer. <laughs> 
She's like me, hopeless. Oh, is she I not? Love you because she's you make me she's feel. not, but she tries. And inspired me to be the best at absolutely everything I try. And she made a career out of it. She I love album. that you trust that at the end of the day, whatever it may be, I'll take care of it. Mostly I love you because you're a work in progress. Today I vow to you that we will always be a work in progress. An unfinished book that just won't end. One that has to be nurtured, filled with cute little children, ambitious travel itineraries, morning workouts, ridiculous fights, passionate embr embraces, faith, and wrinkled skins. I love Daily Adventures love. of the Mundane. Sometimes we will have to close this book, sitting, sitting over it in one of our moments of shared silence, comforted by our presence. Other days we will have to scrap whole chapters, switching plot lines, and starting fresh with a renewed perspective on life. I can't tell you what will happen in 20 or 50 years, but I'm happy knowing that I'll right be up. Oh, but I'm happy knowing that I'll be right there next to you, seeing you as I see you now. Aww. Whatever it is, Aww. I'm all in for all of it. Today, I vow to be your humble co-star in the most genuine love story ever told. Oh, oh th those were so beautiful, these vows. And I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. I want, with this ring I do wed, wear this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion to you. Oh, <laughs> he's... As a representative of Almighty God, oh. in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I declare that you've been lawfully married, your husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Let's see how he lifts the veil. <gasps> oh, yes. I think this is my favorite wedding ever. I'm so happy. Oh. I would slow motion the shot, but that's okay. Everything is so raw. It's just what it is. What they it is what it is. It's not no there's no still. special edits. No crazy filter. Trans Was that it? Is that Why is there an ad? Wait. Wait, they ruined my emotion. Okay, here we go, some B-roll for uh, the photo shoot. The end. Damn, that was beautiful! Wait! Oh yeah, my that was God. it! It is the most unique uh. video wedding we've seen so far. Yes! Because there's no... They didn't show the getting ready shots. They didn't show the, f the reception after the service. This one is just all the service. It's the service. Well, it's, the it says wedding ceremony. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. Because... Because it was so raw, it, it was just like we were there. We were there with them because it was so raw. They just showed what the day was, what it was. And you know, the thing is, they're amazing celebrities, but they kept it so private, chill, and quiet. like quiet. Yes, the, the outfits were amazing, or even for the guests, but. You know, it wasn't like a huge setting. Yeah, it yeah. was just chairs in the grass yeah. next to these ruins of a church, I guess, or whatever it, it was. was. Perfect. And that's it. And the and the whoever gave the priest or how is it called this person? Uh, the anyways, this person that did the, the pastor. The pastor, I think he did an amazing job with this wedding. With because it, it, it was it, just it was so short. Perfect. It was short. It was and precise, perfect. and it was a. It was just the right amount of message that the people have to hear during a wedding. Yeah, and it was so relatable to their story. Yes, and I love the, the vows. Door. The vows, the, yeah. um, um, Aunt Curtis' vows, I think, was the best one. Like, I feel like she took time to write that vow. She edited, it was a poem. she re-edited. It was a poem. She used a lot of words that were just so romantic and perfect. Yeah. I think Moira de la Torre should make a great sing a song about this, uh, with these lyrics. Vows, yeah, I know. It could be a <laughs> lyric to the song. I love this one. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I am so inspired by this too. It looks like an amazing... And the way they call each other Mon Amour. What is Mon Amour? 
my love in French. Ah, I see. Ah, okay. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. More I more. love them. Comment below if you want us to see the next wedding of Anne. I think she, they got married twice because I saw two wedding videos. But let us know. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. I do. I.